Hey everyone, it's Shub. It's like... 8 where I am right now, even a little bit past that. The, the presentation was so early today, I just could not do it, and I didn't really want to bother with trying to get my streaming equipment ready that early in the morning. So, here I am. I'm gonna react to it now. I I'm very late. I, I tried avoiding, like, the internet all day, just so I could react to this without spoiling myself. Here we go! Konnichiwa. Hi Sakurai. ダンアゲンアレックスサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサクサ
Except for the Bowser's Fury optimizations, but, I mean, to be fair, that's like a super open world, and we already know the Switch can't really do that. I'm gonna move this a bit closer to me. Oh wait, so everybody's in pairs in this game? Huh. The character designs are pretty sick, I'll say that. <laughs> Yo, we fit trainer again? Let's stretch our legs. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, so does that make a wall? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that recovery. Ooh. Oh, no. That, that like, was like an ether recovery. Jeez. Okay, so he does signal when he'll do that. But, I mean, if you're in the middle of the fight, you might not notice that. Unless you're, you know, a diehard. Ooh! Wait, the Battlefield and Omega stages look sick. Okay, that actually looks awesome. It kind of is like a steampunk kind of vibe to it, you know? Yeah. Uh huh. You know, getting a little bit of the natural texture pack, vices and virtues type thing? Yeah? I see you, Sakurai. Here we go. Okay, I'm honestly glad they didn't choose Rex because we don't have as many female fighters in this game as male fighters, and I kind of like the female voices, honestly. Like, the voice actors are much better than the male ones, honestly. I like, I like them a lot more. And I mean, Pyro and Mithra look like so much more of a unique character than Rex, too, but I don't know. I've never played Xenoblade. Pushing the boundaries on what we can do. Uh, was that a little bit of an innuendo, Sakurai? H how far did you push those boundaries, my guy? The most complex designs- HOLD UP! Yeah! Look at the difference! Uh-huh, yeah, I, I can see the difference with my two eyes, with my two balls, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a few differences. Pyro's wearing tights. Trial and error? I, I see, yeah, yeah. Kinda makes sense. Massive melee? Hold up, Sakurai. You're getting a bit uh, spicy here. I mean, that's fine, because my content is totally not for kids, but yes. Hey! He did my comparison! She can sell- Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, it looks like it has the same kind of cooldown, too. So, like, there's- It doesn't seem like you're, like, limited by a second or something. Wait, you can choose the fighters by pressing Y? Okay. I kind of expected that, because that's how you do echoes as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Each comes in a set you can't mix and match. I expected that. It's kind of like Pokemon Trainer because you have like what, 24 colors? Woo! Wait, the P2s look great. Oh, P3 is interesting. Inverting the colors. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Colors looking good so far? Ooh, the dark. Oh, that looks great. Ooh, okay, that looks nice too. Wow, I'm liking all these colors. Okay, so more saturated colors, I like that, I like that. Gold and silver? Okay, that's pretty epic too. I love these colors, wow. Yes, they could be used to confuse your opponents. That's actually really cool.
Yeah, I can read Zakurai. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Pyra specializes in power, Mithra specializes in speed. That's kind of what I expected, because, you know, Pyra is a... Fire. Oh! Oh! That's really different! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Huh! Jeez, okay. That's interesting. Like, they're very different. I thought they'd be a bit more similar than that, but whoa, just the movement is... Jeez. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking forward smash. I'm not going to say anything about the range. We've already seen crazy range. I, I don't think I have to say anything. Okay, here's why I can say stuff. Okay, I mean, th that actually killed kind of early, but like not too early for ultimate. Ah, I knew, I knew. I knew it would be kind of a counter-like thing. Is that the dodge? I... Yeah, I think it is. I think that's spot dodge. Hmm. Yeah, I, uh-huh. Hold on, I'm not reacting to this live. I can actually check. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go back a tiny bit. Game set, okay. Foresight. Okay, yeah, it's activated by dodge. Got it, got it. Alright, let's zoom back up. That's about it. That's about where it was. I will say, it looks really cool. That's a really cool dodge effect. Okay, yeah, the attacks look pretty similar. Like, Pyro's a bit flashier, but Mithra... I mean, I won't say they're not flashy, but... I like the fire. Yeah, I see. So, Mithra's kind of your in-your-face character. Pyro's kind of the stay-back character. I like that. Oh, wait, damage comparison? Oh, wait, that's actually crazy. Hold on, so Pyro does, like, double the damage of Mithra? Huh. Okay, well, I know that's going to, That may be different in the final release. Because if Mithra's that weak, then I wouldn't see a use for Mithra. Because that's, like, really weak compared to Pyra. I mean, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. So, Mithra is kind of a regular kind of dash attack. Pyra kind of has an Ike dash attack. Huh. Interesting. Okay, the combos actually look nice. Those look cool. Awesome. Wait, notice how he showed all of those with Mithra? So, like, there might not be as many combos with Pyra. I'm sure there will just still be some, but I feel like Mithra's the combo character here. Okay, okay. Excuse me? 20? Ha! <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I, I, why did I expect him to really kill? I mean, you can't expect anything from Sakurai. He's the unexpected man. Ooh, okay, yep, yep, that's kind of early. That's a tiny bit early. Hmm, okay, okay, that's an actual real difference. I mean, th th there are differences all around, but that's like a visual difference. 
Yeah, I see. There's a lot less cooldown on Mithras. Yep. Jeez, almost double the cooldown on Pyro. Okay. Now I'm starting to kind of see how it's balanced. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mithra combos look pretty sick, though. Man, I can't wait to play with this character. Hopefully they release soon. Okay, that's not as much of a power difference. It might have just been a sweet spot from Pyra. In the first one. Okay, only Pyrus has a meteor effect. Okay, so you have to go all out to hit the meteor. That's a kind of spicy meteor? We'll have to see how it is in the game. Oh, okay, so it has a lot of end lag. Got it. Their grabs are different, excuse me? Oh, they mean by, like, speed. Got it. I thought they were thinking, like, someone has a whole new grab mechanic, but... Yep, that makes sense. I see, okay. Oh, so they're making down throw a combo tool. Interesting. That was like their big thing in Smash 4. Down throw is your combo tool. It's not as big an ultimate, but there's still some characters that can do it. Oh, wait, we're getting the specials, yes. Okay. It's a pretty cool move, yeah. I like it. Okay, hits behind, nice. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And you can mid or charge it? Yep, nice. You can't cancel it, okay. That makes sense, though. Well, that should mean that it's pretty powerful if you can't. Okay, you can move a tiny bit, I see. That makes it safe, okay. Well, we don't know that, but it looks like it could be safe. I see, I thought that was like a smash attack, but no, it's a neutral special, interesting. Hold down to extend the reach? Oh, that's a big extension! Ooh. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this character looks pretty nice. Okay, so that not, might not be a thing in the full release. We'll just have to find out. That's the thing that I said looked like Sora's neutral B. Uh-huh, yeah. Don't know how many of you have played Smash Flash 2, but that is very similar to Sora's neutral B. Hmm. Oh, wait, you have control over Pyra? Oh, okay, okay, interesting. You can't attack out of it or into it, but once it's ended, you can start attacking. Okay. Interesting point, Zachary, but I mean... I see, okay, yeah. That makes some sense. If they're going for disrespect, you can say no. It can be reflected? Oh, that's a bit interesting. <laughs> but it makes sense. By smash logic, it doesn't make sense that your own sword hits you, but... Oh, that's a cool-looking attack. That's a cool-looking attack. It can only move to the side, okay. 
Wait, I completely missed that. So if you use Pyra's side special, you can like mash the stick and it'll do crazy stuff? Interesting. Okay, he said it can be used for recovering. Does it have special fall? Because then, if he said it's for recovering, it might not, but it could just be for close to the stage recovering. Okay, it stops at ledge. Cool. Cool. Oh! Not fully, but somewhat. Yeah, okay. Got it. Nice. That's a pretty cool range move. It has range upward. Okay, the up special kind of looks like... Who is it? Me Sword Fighter's up special? Just with more power to it? Woo! Whoa! Okay, hold on. Her up B out of shield might be crazy. Well, it depends on how fast it is. Because if it's, if it's fast, that could be an insanely good move. Like, punishing even, like, what? A forward tilt out of shield with that? Well, I don't know how much damage it does, but if it does, like, 20 plus damage, that could be a crazy out of shield. Okay, that's another cool move. I don't think it's as useful as Pyra's up B, but... Wait, hold on. That... But it doesn't slash down. Okay, so Mithra's might be better for recovering, but Pyra's is good for the damage. I mean, dang, that thing probably does a ton of damage. What? Oh, ooh, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, that doesn't combo. I think DDD landed on the ground before that kid did him, so... Interesting. Maybe it does in the full release? It can be reflected? And it, like, hits at the perfect angle? That's cool, too. The character has weaknesses. Awesome. Thank you, Sakurai. Yeah, it happens very quickly. Okay, and you're invincible during it. I kind of expected that. That's how PT works, so... That makes sense. Can you use it to dodge projectiles? Yeah, that's really cool. Wait, think about if, like, you're Mithra, and then somebody has a fully charged Samus Neutral Bleed or something, right? And then you dodge the thing with Mithra, end up as Pyra, boom, uppy, they're dead, right? That sounds awesome. Okay, and Rex comes out for the final smash. Yeah, we already saw a little bit of this. Pretty cool final smash. I like that it's not a cutscene final smash, because we have had a ton, and I mean a ton of those in the DLC. I'm glad we're doing something different now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of seems like the design decision here, where Mithra's good for the combos and the starting up damage, Pyro's really good for, like, the big hits and the finishing moves. Did he just say hit detection? Hold on. Sakurai is really appealing to the hardcore fans here. Like, he's showing most of the interactions, or just the basic interactions with it. Like, I don't know how it'll work with Gyro, Bonus Root, all that stuff, but we'll find out. This character looks really fun. Like, really fun. If they come out today, I'm gonna do the classic mode, like, right after I record this. I don't think it'll come out with this reaction, but like maybe, I don't know, Saturday? Sunday? If they release today? Ooh, 
He thinks most people will play with one character. That kind of makes sense because the game has a large casual audience, but I feel like if you're talking more competitive... Ah, yeah, Sakurai the band. Yeah, Pyra, uh-huh. That, that's... Uh, Pyra, uh-huh. Yep. As a fighter, of course. Hey, mm, we'll find out. Or I guess we won't. I don't think he'll share his true thoughts on Pyro in the Famitsu column. He's in the upside, okay. Okay, pretty neat victory screens. The fighter is the one who finished the battle, okay. Mm-hmm. I have that one. Wait, it's different? Oh! Okay, that's pretty. They always do such a good job with the Kirby ults. I think the Steve one was the funniest, but this is really good too. Uh-huh, as usual. I gotta see this damage output. 12.6. It's okay, 3% difference, okay. Yeah. 40 damage from a full- yep, yep, yep. That makes sense why you can't save it then. Woo! Jeez, almost 50 damage. But I mean, it takes like a year to charge, so it makes sense. He's gonna play? Oh, yes. Yes. Squad Strike! Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> He's doing the thing he did with Byleth. <laughs> Man, 1v3 with Final Smash Meter? Oh boy. This is gonna be a rough one. I don't know what the CPU level is, but I'm sure he did like. Probably at least 5. This commentary is always so interesting. Oh! Uh, why did I think that would spike him? If that actually can spike, that would be interesting. And really funny. Oh, wait, 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 the CPU did some combos? Okay, okay. Yep, seems to have some decent enough kill power. Okay, the CPU seems pretty agile. I feel like he might have chosen, I don't know, 8, maybe even 9. Whew. I like the bam sound effect, that was good. Oh, okay. Nice edge guard, Sakurai. Nice edge guard. Okay, he's about to get his final smash. <laughs> okay, he got scared by that. <laughs> Honestly, I would too. Because I remember one time I was just playing casually. I had this barrel. I accidentally threw it up. And it was filled with bombs and it just killed me. Okay, 
そりゃ来ないよね来ないよねこれでどう Looked like it could do a ton of damage. Okay, he has the final smash, so I'm, I'm gonna guess he wins this. Oh! Oh, that, that was a good move, but the, the zero suit just dodged it. But that was a good idea. Swapping before the final smash so you get those early iframes? I mean, I like it. Good idea. Ooh, he's so close to death. Nice. Okay, that was actually pretty nice. Pretty good gameplay from Sakurai. Okay, there were level 8s. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. That's it? Okay. Fair enough. Song list? How many songs? I'm sure we got the enough. I mean, it's a Nintendo IP, right? So, there should be a bunch. Yeah, yeah, 16 tracks. Uh-huh, that's a bunch. Uh, sadly, I don't know any of the songs because I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 yet. But the original tracks that were in the game are pretty fire, so I'm kind of excited. And Gower Plane gets the songs too. Uh-huh. Yep, kind of what I expected. Yeah. Okay, it'll change regardless of what you said it as. Okay. I don't think I actually changed it anyway, so I'm not even gonna care. Okay. Okay, so since there are already Xenoblade spirits in the game, we're not getting like totally new spirits. That's kind of okay though, because we got a sick character, and like I don't know many people that actually care about spirits. Oh, he blurred the legendary one. Nice. Huh. There wasn't official artwork? Really? Oh, wow, that's really cool. So the main character designer literally made art for the final boss just for this game. That's awesome. Oh, is that new? The, the enhancement thing, is that new? Okay, well, I'm not going to care about spoilers because I'm going to get all the spirits anyway. Four new costumes, okay. Kind of excited, here we go. Who's deconfirmed this time? <laughs> Oh, a monster on her character? Okay. I mean, pretty cool costumes. Uh, kind of like with Xenoblade, not a big fan of Monster Hunter, but... I, I feel sad for the people that wanted characters like this in the game. Who knows? Maybe we'll get them. Really, anything can happen at this point. Sakurai's kind of broken all the fan rules anyway, so... Who cares? That was a pretty nice combo. Oh, they had a boomerang. That makes sense. Ghosts and goblins? Huh. Okay. Fair enough. You know, that me fighter looks like somebody that I'm not going to mention, but if you know who, you know who. Okay, like, honestly, for me, kind of weak in the me costume department, but that's okay. Because we already have, like, a bunch of sick me costumes. I mean, we have Cuphead and Sans, so... I'm not really complaining. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
、魔界村の新作も出るそうで、びっくりです。そして、肝心の配信。Oh, yeah, yeah, when are they released? Come on, come on, come on, today, today. Yes, yes, woo! Yes! I could probably download them like right now. Here, let me pull out my Switch. I don't know if you heard that. I did watch the reveal trailer, Sakurai, but I have to update my game. It's downloading. Yeah, why is this a departure? What? Really? Wait, he wrote all these himself? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Dang! Sakurai has some sick writing. Oh! Oh, wait. So the creators of Xenoblade did the CG in writing. It's probably why it looks so similar to Smash, because it kind of has a similar art style to Xenoblade. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and clearly he did this because it kind of does parts of the end, yeah. Yeah, good on you, Sakurai. You need a break. <laughs> He's been working on Smash for so many years now. I mean, I know he loves his job, but still, that's a long time, and he's probably had to work overtime a bunch. I mean, back in Melee, he had a bunch, but... Yeah, the reveal trailer was great. I really liked it. Those are really well made statues. Oh, interesting. So he uses actual real life figures as reference for. Oh, wow. On figures at my desk in the office. I hide figures of unreleased fighters in a locked drawer. Nice. <laughs> That is a Two more remain. Two more fighters left. I don't really care who we get at this point. Once I saw Steve, I was like, well, I don't care who we get. And then we got Sephiroth, and I'm like, yup, I'm done. I don't care who the next three are. It can be freaking Fortnite guy. I'd be fine. Yep, thank you, Sakurai. I have no face cam, but I'll wave in my dreams. Okay, well, version 11.0 is downloading. You know what? I was going to stop it here, but since it's clearly out, I'm gonna quickly look for the patch notes. I'll just cut to when I find them. Okay, well, I found the fatter adjustments. I feel like I'm just going to leave the reaction as its own thing, and I'm just going to explore these patch notes and the new character in a video releasing soon. Probably like this weekend. Well, I gotta go and make the next video. See ya.